Hey there everybody, this is Spiraling Helix, welcome back to Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. In the last episode, we went all the way over to Boggy Swamp over there, and this time, now the Rock Village is complete, we are going to take on that real weird monstrous creature that is guarding the way to the north. Where we are going to find a cure for Daxter, or at least find out what the other satyrs can do. So now with our many power cells in hand, let's talk to Kira. Great! You have the cells for the machine! They ought to provide enough power to lift that boulder! There we go! Now be careful facing that monster lurker at the top. Wait! Uh... I'll stay here and protect Kira. Jack, I think you're ready to handle that monster without me. Oh, really heroic of you. <laughs> I love that. Also, in case you're worried about this, this won't kill you, but it will knock you back, so be careful jumping across this bit here. However, something that will kill you is this boulder. It still hurts you. Take a look. Don't jump into that boulder. I am... Really gonna regret taking that damage because the lurker's gone. And the music will change as we are now reaching. The mid boss, this is Claw K L A W W Double W. Oh my goodness. Is it double double you? I really like saying that now. Anyway, the first phase he will launch these boulders at you, the last one dropping some blue eco, calling these platforms, allowing us to reach the yellow eco where we can smash them. And um, please, there we go. So he drops this boulder. By the way, don't stand on that little bit of rock right in front of us there. That will hurt you. And in doing that, you can see some of these platforms do break apart in the lava. Here's another angle of him, by the way. But this is the mid-boss of the game. It's so weird saying that. Like, saying there's a game with only two bosses. And, like, I, I'm sure you can call things tougher, but... Only a final boss and a mid-boss. Like, it's dungeons that have a mid-boss, not whole game. Anyway, though, dodge the boulders! Okay, I really hate this boss, and I find it stupidly tough. And here's the phase why I find it stupidly tough. Oh, and that, the lava instantly kills you, so don't fall in. Plus, if you get hit by a boulder, if you get hit by a boulder, chances are it's actually going to knock you back into the lava, which is very annoying. Now, he will, for the most part, track you with his shots. What I mean by that is, if you're moving left, he will shoot to the left before you're even in the left. But, half the time he won't. He will just pick a random direction, which is really annoying considering you can be in the middle and decide to jump to either the left or right, or actually, even worse, you can be on the right. He shoots a boulder at you, and then as you're jumping to the middle, he's already shot one towards the middle that you cannot dodge. And you'll see that a lot more in the third phase, where he fires very quickly. Anyway, though, I'm gonna stay on the right-hand side, because he... Oh my goodness, he just would not fire over there. Thank you, Claw. You're being very helpful. Now, let's not fall in the lava this time. And I believe he will keep throwing those boulders down until we get to the yellow eco. And please be enough, please. Oh my goodness. This might not work because the homing's off when I'm... Oh, okay. When you are in first person mode, the homing shots do deactivate, so you do have to actually aim. I know, right? It sucks. But, here's the worst phase. Let's go. I might concentrate a bit here. And you don't have time for spin kicks and all that. <laughs> fake him out, fake him out. 
Oh my goodness. This is what I mean, like... Why can't you just go where I'm going? Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. I did it. That phase is so... Oh, scary. And these boulders are aiming towards where you... No! <laughs> oh, I had it! I had it! <sighs> Darn you, Claw! Darn you! Ah, this is... Like, you saw that third phase. That's what I mean about this boss fight being stupidly hard. Like, I won't say he's harder than the final boss. But depending on how you can deal with things, it's a lot easier to deal with the final boss. This one's a lot more random. Like, that's what I'll say. This one's more random. The final boss you can learn, but... Ah, uh, this... this uh, I, I'm never gonna do that again. And that giant boulder just disappears into nowhere. Okay, phase two. Phase two isn't as hard. I can see where the boulders are going. As you can tell with phase 3, I sort of jumped without knowing where th if the boulders were going to land or not. Just because if I do hesitate, and a boulder is coming my way, I'm gonna get hit. Because it's not the that you need to be on the platform f to get hit. If you're anywhere above the platform... Right, the punches don't give you that little movement boost when y you're... You have a yellow eco. But if you're anywhere near the... Um... What? 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 Why did I even jump there? I'm pretty sure he only hit the left hand platform once. Anyway, grab the yellow... Start firing into him, even though it does nothing until he's creating the giant boulder. And run away! At least running away, you can see where you're going. It kind of reminds me of Crash Bandicoot, actually, running towards the screen where you can't see anything. But, in fairness, you do see where the gaps are before you actually run back, because you see him on your way up. And phase two's being... <laughs> and... Oh my goodness. So many on the left there. Phase two was nice. A little bit weird, but nice. I didn't get it. And that's the thing with this boss fight. Uh, on top of the one in... On top of the final boss. Actually, I'm, I'm saying too much about the final boss. We'll get there when we get there. But the, the, the fact that the lava insta kills you and the lava is how you die. It's not the boulders that knock out your health. That'll never kill you. It's always the luck. And these boulders are aiming towards where you... No! Anyway, here we go. Speed round. Oh, and it's getting dark. So the lava's getting brighter. This is intense. And, oh, this is a nice speed round. Nice speed round. Please. Oh my goodness. That was actually very lucky in terms of what I've s usually seen. That or I'm just very unlucky, usually. And with that, I, I believe we're in home straight. I'm not... Yes, there we go. No, wait. We need to get away from the boulder. We need to get... Okay, no, we don't. Okay. I forget that every time. And I'm straight on to admit I've died multiple times before getting the power cell because of that. Great work! The people of Rock Village are breathing a collective sigh of relief. But there's no time to celebrate. Use your zoomer to navigate the mountain pass up ahead. Be careful. It looks like the lurkers have rigged the whole pass with explosives. When you reach the volcanic crater, be sure to visit the Red Sage's lab and activate the teleport gate so that Father and I can join you. And here are those lurkers that Kira was talking about. Oh my! Those lurkers must be headed for a detonator at the end of the canyon! If they reach it before you do, they'll blow up the entire pass! You've got to beat them there and destroy the detonator or it's all over! 
And clearly, I think, into the future, because Kira hadn't talked about these Lurkers yet, just the fact that there's explosives throughout the whole canyon. Hitting those explosives are instant death, by the way. If you hit any of the yellow Dark Eco containers, then you're fine, but those big barrels are going to instantly kill you. And I honestly don't mind if I miss some Precursor Orbs this time. Simply because we are actually probably going to die, and the fact that we're going to come back through here. Don't worry, I will get some Precursor Orbs that I miss. In fact, I am straight up going to kill myself after this turn because these orbs are by far the worst. And here's what happens. Instant death into a pit. Very nice. Anyway, Wanda's rumor again. Whee! Zuma is fun. This is the mountain passage, by the way. Claw is part of the mountain passage if you pause this menu. This is a bit of a shortcut. Don't worry, there is nothing that we are missing down there. And again, like before, the blue eco that you collect is a permanent speed upgrade unless you come to a stop or go head first into a tree. That is not necessarily a good thing in this one, though. These lurkers actually rubber band. These, it's, it's kind of, eh. This isn't something I'd expect rubber banding to occur in. Like, I understand in racing games, because, you know, you kind of want to be fighting for first place, but it's a bit weird in this scenario. Not only that, though, the fact that they do rubber band does mean you can kind of take it slow. I missed a Precursor Orb again. But until I get this one up here, I'm not going to kill myself. There we go. And you know what, while we're wasting time, the reason why we are coming back is we have a closed deco vent here and a giant boulder. Now that is a yellow eco vent, so we will have to keep an eye out for that. But until then, there's actually a power cell hidden behind that boulder that we sadly cannot co collect. I am fine with hitting the Dark Eco. And you know what? I'm gonna go this way just to show it off. And in case you're wondering, no, you can't kill these lurkers. They do fly higher up if you get close. And look at them duck and weave. I mean, maybe not duck, more rise and weave. But they're, they're doing the weaving. And that's half of it. And get the orb. There we go. More... I, I missed the more speed. Ooh, let's get this one. Let's not get that one! Let's not get that one! Okay, I'm safe. And I still have my speed. No, I don't. Anyway, more speed! More! Okay, I did get that one. More speed! And less speed because of these precursor orbs. There we go. And onwards! Now, this is actually one of the few... I say one of the few. This is the only Zuma place you can actually run through. Now, you can't run through it from the start for obvious reasons, you know, because you have to outrace those locos. And there's still a thing here. And. Okay. That one's kind of tricky to get. But I shouldn't have grabbed it that way. What I should have done is first take care of you. We did it! We stopped it from blowing! Grab this power cell, and now that we get off... Good work! You beat them to the detonator! The Red Sage's lab is just ahead. Go turn on the teleport gate so we can join you. So, you can actually go back a fair distance. Now, the ledge there doesn't want you to go back there. It actually creates a bit of a one-way system. They did put... An invisible wall there, but the collision's wonky, and there is a way back be back behind that. Using that and a few special high jumps, you can actually get that power cell locked behind that yellow eco vent quite early. Now, before I go over, is there anything on this side I can collect? Yes, there you are. I knew there was something at the entrance. By the way, welcome to the volcanic crater. It did appear on screen. And this is the Red Sage's Lab. 
So let's take a look and see if he's home, shall we? And okay, I guess he's not home. Similar to the blue sage, but let's hit the gate. Look, I always wonder if I'm losing body parts in those things. Holy yakow! The red sage's lab looks worse than the blues. Well, it definitely looks as though there's been a struggle here. <laughs> I'd hardly call it struggle. Would you, dear sister? Certainly not. The Red Sage gave up with so little effort. No fun at all. Gull? Is that you? You've finally gone off the deep end, eh? And Maya, I told you the Dark Eco would affect you both. Nobody ever listens to old Samos. What have you two done with the Blue and Red Sages? Don't worry about your colorful friends, you old fool. They're perfectly safe in our citadel. Our special guests. They have graciously agreed to help us on a little project. You are wrong, Samos. Dark Eagle can be controlled. We've learned its secrets, and now we can reshape the world to our liking. You can't control Dark Eco by itself. Even the precursors. Until wouldn't now, we've do had to scrape by with what little Dark Eco we could find near the surface. But soon, we will have access to the vast stores of Dark Eco hidden deep underground. Not the silos. Yes. The silos, they will be opened, and all the dark ego of the world will be ours! But that's impossible! Only a precursor robot- Oh, don't look so upset, Samos. We've got big plans for you. <laughs> Wait a minute! That was Gull? The same Gull who's supposed to change me back? Gull is the guy trying to kill us? I'm doomed. We may all be doomed. If they open the silos, the Dark Eco will twist and destroy everything it touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. The fastest way there is through the lava tube at the bottom of this crater. A few more power cells and your Zoomer heat shield should get you across the lava safely. All right, my boy. You know what to do. Take the flea bag and go round up more power cells. And with that, what is all of our motivation for the story just completely flips its head as now saving Daxter is the least of our priorities. Plus, you know, he's way better looking orange and fuzzy. No, now we have to save the world. A bit of a jump from saving our friend to saving the world but hey that's just how it is unfortunately when you're a protagonist anyway though next time we will kind of explore the volcanic crater but more probably more importantly head on to the next area as we are coming towards the end of the game so with that guys this has been spiraling helix i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye